I, I thought you were going to give me more than that. Uh, but, uh, uh, dear brother, president of Uganda, here present, business leaders, uh, distinguished uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, let me uh, first uh, speak to uh, the importance and how happy we are that uh, the Secretariat of the African uh, Continental Free uh, Trade Area um, has come together with the World Economic Forum in this manner. Uh, it's of great importance. Um, second, um, the very fact of uh, the action plan means a big contribution uh, from uh, the private sector. So there is no better way of advancing our African uh, continental free trade area uh, imperatives than uh, consolidating this partnership between the private sector and the public sector. So we look forward to a very strong uh, presence and activity by the private sector. <coughs> the, um, I, and the, what I have just said is of great importance in the manner that um, uh, it helps uh, change the narrative and we must change the narrative uh, about uh, Africa being uh, too risky a continent. I, I think the full picture and explanation of uh, the situation will come through uh, this uh, collaboration. Um, the other point I would wish to make uh, going forward is that, first of all, we've been uh, told and uh, I think the importance uh, has come out already uh, of the priorities that, uh, is, uh, uh, that have been identified uh, through this partnership and the action plan, uh, where we are talking about um, uh, automotives, we are talking about uh, ag agriculture and agro-processing, we are talking about uh, pharmaceuticals, and we are talking about transport and logistics. I think these are very key, they are very important. Uh, they help yeah, in many ways, but we have to do our part in other areas. Uh, for example, in areas of making sure that uh, the Africans really move freely uh, across borders and, and do what they, they need to do. Um, we, uh, so leaders, we, it's very unfortunate that uh, sometimes the politics gets in the way of very important things like this. So we have to do our part and make sure that this is not the case. And um, here, the return on investment is real that everybody wins. Uh, and, and we should make sure that we work, come together, we work together uh, for this uh, uh, to happen. Let me say, in Rwanda, we are trying to uh, play our part, uh, whether it is in the area of uh, making sure that uh, Africans uh, come to Rwanda freely. We've uh, uh, eased on uh, visas. Uh, we, anyone who comes to Rwanda gets a visa on arrival, uh, unless the, these people or individuals would have a problem that is sorted out differently. But everyone who is uh, uh, freely uh, wanting to do their business, they come to Rwanda uh, as freely as they would wish. And we have also um, 
We are working on one of these priorities, for example, well, well not all of them, but let me point out in the area of uh, pharmaceuticals, we recently opened a, a, a partnership uh, that is practical, that is going to be up and running in just a matter of days and weeks with the BioNTech. Uh, we're also happy and uh, I want to thank the African Development Bank, uh, which uh, also uh, created uh, uh, pharmaceuticals, uh, African pharmaceuticals uh, um, uh, technology uh, foundation and that has its center in uh, Kigali. All these, uh, and there are many other areas in logistics we are working with uh, uh, many partners from Dubai, from different areas. Uh, and um, with the visa removal, with the, these activities, we really hope to see uh, Africans interacting uh, Rwandans learning and doing uh, different things in other countries and other countries, citizens coming to Rwanda and uh, sharing experiences and learning from each other and strengthening uh, our continent. So may I, maybe uh, my six minutes are over. So <laughs> I want to thank you for giving me the floor and uh, I'm happy to interact with these uh, distinguished ladies and gentlemen.